Right, so if I go into my course and I create a new assignment, I still do the same thing where I go to create a quiz bank, press continue. Um, let's grab, let's grab an Atlas quiz for no reason. Hmm. Which one? Do the nervous overview. I won't be able to answer any of those questions, but I don't have to. All right, so I'm gonna name this nervous system quiz. Gonna put in my due date like I always do. Um, I can still delay release like before, still choose a folder or not choose a folder. Um, you can still do add your points. So I'm gonna make this 15 points, I guess. And then I can choose either points or percentage as before, change the number of attempts or make it unlimited, I'll do unlimited just for fun and say keep the best attempt. Um, this is the new setting for partial credit. Um, so I guess if I, there's a little info button nicely here where you'll get credits, your students will get credit for the questions they answer correctly and will not get any points for questions they answer incorrectly or don't get to. And then if I changed it to no, then my students would get no credit for the quiz if they don't finish it. So like kind of all or nothing. Uh, and then time limit also has one of these nice little info boxes, but that works the same as it did before, where I can just choose to add a time limit and put in my hours or minutes. I'll give I'll give this quiz 30 minutes, probably way more than needed. Um, and I still have these feedback options, so I can give them feedback a after each question as well. Um, and I can choose not to show correct answers at all. And this is great. This option is great out here because. Um, for a dissection quiz, you can't show you can't show the correct answers, really, because you can't go back and actually like show the model and highlight the correct answers or something like that. Um, and then I can save my draft or I can publish like usual and send an email. All right, so here we're going to do a demonstration of timed quizzes and how that will look for both the professor and the student um, with partial credit on and off. So if I am currently logged in as an instructor and I'm going in here, I can see that my partial credit is on and that this is also a timed quiz where my students will have three minutes to take their quiz. Um, so I am going to publish this, that's okay. And then I will bring up my student account. And in here I can see as a student um, that I have this quiz, I have as many attempts as I need, and I can just go straight in and launch it. And I can see I have three minutes to take the quiz, and my timer up there says three minutes as well. And you can see that there were multiple models loaded into this quiz all at the beginning, and there's no wait time between them while things are loading, which is super handy. So my time is about to run out, and I've only gotten to three questions, but I think I've gotten them all right. Right, so I get a message. It says that my time is up and I can't finish because I've run out of time. And I successfully answered three out of six questions. So I can review and see that here, I successfully answered these first three questions, but I was unable to answer these. So it says none and gives me a nice score of 50%. And if I go back and I look in my grade book, I scroll down to that assignment, I can see 50% my last attempt and that my time ran out. So that's why I only got to 50% and I can see those same results here. Now, if my professor, instead of doing that, has actually turned off partial credit, so I can move this to no, let's just make this one minute and publish that. Then I go into my assignments. I go to that vision in the brain quiz. Right, so here I can now press take my quiz. You can see it updated to one minute. Right, so we know I've gotten a few questions correct. So if partial credit was on, I would get credit for those questions. But as we'll see in a second, partial credit will be is off. So I will not receive credit for any of those questions if I run out of time on my quiz part way through. Basically, turning it off gives you an all or nothing. You either get through it and get graded on everything, or you don't get through it and you don't get it grade. Right, so my time's up. I was unable to finish the quiz. You'll notice there's no grade on this page. Um, and that here my score is zero. 
Right, so you can see even though I got three answers correct because partial credit was off, I get a zero and that will also be reflected in the gradebook. So if I go and I look in here, this is my last attempt and I got a zero because my time expired. And I can see again that I answered some correctly and some incorrectly. So that's what it'll look like for students uh, with or without partial credit. So here I am in my student account. I'm going to take this quiz on vision and the brain. So this is a quiz in the new quiz app, the dissection quiz. Everything has loaded in for me and now I'm going to hit this take quiz button to get started. So here you can see a microanatomy view of the eye. I need to select a part of the retina. I can manipulate this model like I can in any of the apps by using these hide and fade buttons, um, by using the joystick. This is a new addition to quizzing for us. Um, and then also I can zoom in finally with these buttons on the joystick panel. I can use this bar to zoom in and out as well as the usual keyboard controls that can be used in all the other web apps.